For lesson 11 practice problems, what we've got here for number one is a scale drawing of a car is presented in the following three scales. So we've got right here, we've got A, one inch is equal to one foot, one inch equals one meter, and one inch is equivalent to one yard. So it says, order the scale drawings from smallest to largest, explain your reasoning. There are about 1.1 yards in a meter and 2.54 centimeters in an inch. All right, so one thing that I noticed right here is um, I'm looking at these values right here. We've got feet, we've got meters, and we've got yards. Okay, amongst those three right here, uh, I'm, maybe it's not obvious to you, but a foot, is a, that's the smallest unit. I'm not saying that's the smallest picture. That's the smallest unit, you know. So um, in order for, let's say you want to draw a car that's 10 feet long. I don't know about 10 feet. Maybe 15 feet. Let's say it's 15 feet long. If you want to draw a car that's 15 feet long, you're going to need to draw a line that's 15 inches long, you know. Uh, if you want to draw, you know, that same car, a meter, you know, so a meter, a meter is about three feet. It's not exact. It's a little bit more than three feet, but it's about three feet. So we can estimate with three feet. So if um, one inch equals um, a meter, we just need um, three inches. Three inches. So then that's yeah, that's be much smaller, you know, and. Uh, so that's that's kind of how that goes. So yeah, so I would say that this one is going to have the biggest. Let me clean this up. This is really messy. Sorry. This one is going to have the biggest picture. And this one is going to have the smallest picture. A yard and a meter are pretty close, but a yard is exactly three feet. A meter is a little bit longer than three feet. So yeah, that's it's kind of weird. It's a little bit kind of like opposite world, but um, the smaller the unit, the bigger the picture is going to be. You know, imagine a map where every inch equals a mile every inch equals a mile and you're trying and you want to map of Illinois you want to, I don't know how I'm just off the top of my head thinking like Illinois is about 300 miles long that means your map your map of Illinois you know your, your map of that state is, is gonna have to be like 300 inches long that's gonna be a big map that's be, you know 300 inches that's you know 12 inches a foot you know so 120 inches right there is is 10 feet 240 is 20 feet. I don't know um, if you've used a map before, but typically they're not that big. All right, so for number two, it says, which scales are equivalent to one inch to one foot? So select, uh, select, oops, sorry, select all that apply. Okay, so for which these scales we got for A, uh, it says 1 to 12. Now here's the thing, um, 1 inch to 12 feet, not 12 feet, to 1 foot. Now 1 foot equals 12 inches. Equals 12 inches. So right here, A is going to be right. Now there's no labels given on this. You know, notice there's no inches or feet or anything. It's just numbers, 1 to 12. But that is okay. We've got 1, one inch to 12, 12 inches. That's what that means. All right. And then uh, for B, for B, um, I'm assuming that that right there, that's like an inch, right? That's an inch, and then right here, that's a foot. Can't spell, obviously. Yeah, that's one foot. And I would say that B is also going to be okay. I'm pick that one. Uh, yeah, this looks like it, it's 
going to a smaller unit. So you can count this one out. Uh, for D, you got 5 to 60. Now one thing that might help for this one is if you think of it as a fraction, 5 over 60. And if you reduce that fraction, you could divide by 5. And look what happens when you divide it. You get 1 over 12. 5 divided by 5 is 1, and 60 divided by 5 is 12. So you can count D in as well. That's equivalent. Uh, 36 to 3 is kind of backwards, because if I just do that, that's 36 to 3, that reduces to 12 over 1, which is kind of like 1 to 12, but not really. It's a reciprocal, but it's not the same. And then 9 to 108, yep, that one works, because 9 divided by 9 is 1, and 108 divided by 9 is 12. So there you go. For the, so for that one, we've got A, B, D, and F. So a model airplane is built at a scale of 1 to 72. All right. If the model plane is 8 inches long, how many feet long is the actual airplane? All right, so for the th for this one, uh, what I kind of see here is that um, the model, you got the 1 to 72, and that's 8 inches right there. And I would say the actual airplane, yeah, the actual airplane is going to be 72 times, yeah, 72 times the length of um, the actual model. So, so let's do this. Let's do 72 times 8. And that comes out to 576. Now, the, it, what's helpful for this one is to know what that number represents. And that number represents inches. Okay, now this question is asking about how many feet long is it? How many feet long? Well, uh, we just have to convert that to to feet by dividing by 12. So if you do 576 divided by 12, here, let's do a little long division. Doesn't hurt to practice that. All right, so 12 divides into 57, right? Uh, four times, All right? Five would be 60, right? So I'm gonna do four times 12, which is 48. Put that number right there and then subtract. Now, 7 does not subtract 8, so I can borrow, and 17 minus 8 is 9. Now bring down the 6, <clears throat> bring down the 6, and then 12 divides into 96 exactly 8 times. 8 times 12 is 96. So there's the actual length of the airplane 48 feet. For number four, we've got quadrilateral A has side lengths three, six, six, and nine. Quadrilateral B is a scale copy of A, and it has a shortest side length equal to two. Now I'm going to stop there for a moment, and the shortest side length is two, and that means that corresponds to this number right here. So the scaled, the scaled value is two, so that's the number you want to put on top. And the original number was 3. That's the number you want to put in the bottom. So there's your scale factor is 2 to 3. 2 to 3. All right, now let's go ahead and apply that scale factor to the rest of the numbers. Okay, so when we do 2 thirds times 6, we get 12 thirds, which is 4. Okay? So, so far we've got lengths of, we've got lengths of two. The shortest length is two because that's given. And then the two sides that are six become fours. And then let's do two thirds times nine. Two thirds times nine is going to be 18 thirds. 18 thirds turns into a six. 
All right, and so when we do the perimeter of this one, we're just adding all the sides up. You get two plus four, that's six. Six plus four is 10, and that is 16. So that has a perimeter of 16. Now one thing I never did was uh, I didn't do this, add all this up. So three plus six plus six plus nine, let's go write that out. That equals 24. That's 24 units. And so in this problem, um, they said that um, the perimeter went down by four, which is, you know, not true. It went down by eight, didn't it? It went, it went from 24, started out at 24, 24 units, and then it went down to 16. So that was a change of, of eight units. All right, for question number five, we've got polygon B is a scaled copy of polygon A using a scale factor of five. All right, so that means it's getting bigger. All right, so uh, I'm, not, I'm just gonna just draw kind of a random shape and then this is A and then B's is obviously bigger, okay? And so that was multiplied by five to get to B. All right, so um, polygons a, polygon A's area is what fraction of polygon B's area? All right, now uh, when it comes to scale factor and area, it's, we want to square it. So if we do 5 squared, that's 5 times 5, which is 25. Okay, so this one, the area equal is 25 times larger. Okay, that's 25 times larger. But that's not really what the question's asking. The question is, what fraction uh, of B's area is, is A, right? So that's what you want to do. Polygon's A, A area is what fraction of polygon B? I think a lot of times, and even me too, it throws me off a little bit, is the wording of these is a little bit weird. You have to kind of put things straight in your head. But we're looking for what fraction it is. So we're going this way. We're going this direction here. And so since B is 25 times larger than A, um, A going the other direction is going to be a reciprocal relationship. So it's going to be 1 25th times, all right, which is smaller, of course, 1 25th smaller. Okay, for the last question, for number six, we've got figures R, S, and T. They're all scaled copies of one another. All right, figure S is a scaled copy of R. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and just sketch that. So figure S is a scaled copy of R. So that means it, start with, it starts with R, and then we're going to S, okay? Uh, and that says it's using a scale factor of three. So that means we're multiplying whatever R is, we're multiplying that by three to get the values of S times three. All right, so I'm gonna keep doing that. Uh, figure T is a scaled copy of S. Figure T is a scaled copy of S. So S to T. And that one says it's um, using a scale factor of two. So you're gonna go times two right there. All right, and all right, so like right here, so we're gonna answer these questions. So uh, find the scale factors of each of the following. So T to S, T to S. All right, well, T to S, we're going this way from T to S. So that's going to be the reciprocal of two. Because you remember two, the reciprocal of a, of a whole number is just when you flip it. And that's going to be one half. So right there, that's going to be one half. Uh, S to R, same thing, we're going the other direction. Uh, that was times three when you went from R to S. But when you go from S to R, that's going to be one-third. That's going to be one-third. And then R to T was not mentioned, but we can figure that out. Uh, R to T, what do we have? We've got, well, from R to S, it's times three. And so from, you know, if I just kind of make... Kind of like this. You know, so from R to S, it's times three. And then from S to T, it's times two. So what that tells you is that 
the combined, you know, size is going to be times 6. So from R to T, it's going to be times 6. And the reason, I, let me not assume, that you know, I got that, but 3 and 2, when you multiply those, you get, you can't see what I'm doing. You can't, you don't get, uh, you, 3 times 2, you get 6. So that is 6 for that one. And then from T to R, T to R is what we did originally. We're going to go this way. So that's going to be a reciprocal of 6. So that's going to be 1 sixth.